Hey Jack, I'm trying to see if you guys have a Sony A7S Mark II. Gosh dang it. Do you know anybody in the Chicago area that has Sony cameras that of that quality? No luck. He said maybe Pro Camera Helix. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well folks, it's it feels like an early morning to me. It's 11 a.m. I'm editing a video. Rob's looking for a new camera. He's light years ahead of me this morning. Why does John B. always look tired and depressed? Someone just asked that in the comments. <laughs> Why do I look always tired and depressed? Because I wait to edit my videos in the morning and I stay up late looking for dope beats. And I end up never <laughs> finding dope beats. At Rob, Rob can test. That actually happened last night. Happened last night. I, I was like this in front of the computer screen just looking for a dope beat. Couldn't find a single one, so I just gave up the ghost and went to bed. I'm editing. Rob's looking for a camera. He doesn't necessarily need a new camera, but he's got an idea as to what he wants. A camera that I've been looking at for quite some time. A camera that actually Josh from Black to Beach has been looking for, looking at for quite some time. Got a bunch of stuff to do. Just a bunch of stuff. Should be a good day. But I gotta finish this video first, otherwise I'm, I'm just a scrub. <laughs> Rob and I are gonna go to Woodfield Mall. We got some errands to run. He's got a camera to pick up. We finally found one camera in the whole Chicagoland area. So we're driving to that location right now. Hey, how's it going? I'm not much of a materialistic person. I don't really believe in like kind of like envying over things. I don't like spending too much money on objects, even though I do. I break these things a lot, I break flying drones a lot. But when I do have the money and when I am in the mood to purchase something, the two things I love purchasing are fishing equipment and camera gear. And we're about to buy a camera for Rob that I have been wanting for a very, very, very long time. This is pretty much one of the coolest cameras I've ever seen. And uh, it's pretty capable of doing some awesome stuff, which us fishing anglers really like and need, so to speak. So we're gonna go there and pick up Rob's camera right now. Let's go. So Rob found his camera, now we're just looking for lenses and E-mount adapters for the camera that he's getting. Super exciting, I'm just, I just wish it was me getting it. But I'm really excited to play around with uh, Rob's camera because it is a big deal. The dog? Yeah, oh yeah. There's that lens. We just need to make sure that the lens fits. Oh, I don't have it on here, but. You like it, dude? Uh, black label one. I'm really excited to show you guys this camera and it's not even mine. So Rob, was it successful? Yeah, um, we have to go, we have to get an adapter. The only thing that we were not able to get was an adapter and the lens. They had both, but couldn't sell it to us. Which is kind of weird to think about it. Well, yeah, and the, the crazy thing about this camera is they can't make them anymore because their factory got hit with an earthquake. This camera literally just came in from Alaska because they couldn't sell it up there. That's a pretty cool story. This is going to be... It's gonna be kind of interesting having to learn a new camera. I think that's good. Okay, so before we continue in today's excursion and video, I really briefly want to talk about something and kind of show you what Rob got. I'm gonna really briefly explain kind of what this is and maybe why it's different. And I'm not gonna bore you. Essentially what this is is a very small, a lot more powerful and more high quality camera to what we are already filming with. This is a 80D. I film with a 70, which is essentially the same camera. The 80D has a little more features. So this camera right here, can I see the price? Is a little over $3,500 without the lens. It's a very expensive camera and it's like super daunting, especially for, I should turn the car, it's really hot. It's really warm in here. While this camera is like super expensive and arguably one of the best cameras for its price, you don't need it. Rob doesn't need no. this camera. I don't need this camera. As much as I want this camera, as much as Rob wanted this camera, we don't need it. This right here, and I brought this along for just kind of today's video, is the first camera I ever filmed with. My first video I ever posted on this YouTube channel was filmed with this little thing right here. I believe it was about $100, $120 camera. It's a Casio Excellent. It's tiny. 13 year old John B would walk around <laughs> with this thing on a tripod, film himself, be like, hey guys, welcome <laughs> to another episode of Fishing Midwest. Like this was it. I loved this camera. I cherished it like it was my baby. It was only $130, but back then it was such a big deal. And I was able to kind of create my channel, build a foundation upon this little piece of equipment right here. It's great to have cameras like this in the 70 and the 80D, but the real answer to creating videos and starting your YouTube channel is something as simple as this 
right here. Rob started his channel off of what? A GoPro. GoPro Hero 3, not Three. even like the new one. No mic, no nothing, in a just a straight up case. So what I'm getting at here is you don't need to spend no. a lot of money to start a YouTube channel. We're idiots. We love high quality stuff. We're, we're camera junkies, I'm a camera junkie. And using this kind of stuff makes me happy because I'm able to bring higher quality content to you. This does not mean you need this to be a YouTuber or a successful YouTuber. If you're gonna start a YouTube channel and if you want to be a content creator, fishing or non-fishing related, get something cheap, get something small, and make a killer story. Okay, life lesson uh, over wow. for today. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go get Rob uh, an adapter maybe and a lens. lens. Let's move on. God, this is so much lighter than the DSLR. Okay, Rob and I are we're good right now. We actually have some errands to run, so we're gonna go do that. Um, and then afterwards, we have a meetup. So we're gonna go to the meetup after we run errands and after we do other stuff. Perk's calling me, I think, but I'm just two ways to answer. All right, ready, Rob? Rob's a little disappointed because he wasn't able to use the camera just now. None of the batteries are charged. We had a lot of issues. They gave us the wrong batteries. They didn't have the lens that we needed. Long story short, it's been kind of frustrating for Rob. I understand the frustration because when you get a new toy, you just want to use it, like right then and there. So, kind of a struggle. You guys are gonna see me. What's that? What are you guys shooting? We're shooting nothing. We're, fil uh, we're filming. Hey, so what are you filming? We're filming ourselves. Did you get an okay from the mall to film? Uh, we did not. I didn't know that was. I didn't know that was a thing. And you are not allowed to videotape or shoot photography inside this building. Okay. Understood. Oh, okay. We're we're doing some clothes shopping right now. Who called? Perry. He won't stop calling. Perry won't stop calling us for some reason. He wants us to. My camera's slowly sliding. Like, uh, Perry wants us to pick us to pick him up for some reason. No, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I need I need a samurai hat, dude. Those ones just don't look too good when you're wearing them all around. So he's getting those. I'm getting shoes as well. Should I, should I get gray or black? Black looks sick. You're gonna shoot black? Yeah, black looks sick. I need this sock, yeah. Stay home. Yes, no, here are you. Yes, it's gonna be you. That's all me. No, it's you. Yes! This is what you get. I'm buying all these for you. <laughs> yeah. You lost the bet. I lost in real life, so I'm literally buying all that. Good. Basically, for Rob and myself, yeah. but this, I'm on not a, liking this On a good note, at least I didn't have to buy three pairs of shoes and a bunch of socks A bunch of socks. I know, I was stacking the See? socks up, hoping that maybe you would lose. Yeah. This, that, that just sucked. Uh, you had one? I had one that flew out the window. Yeah, we only have the women's ones right now. Oh, that doesn't, I feel like a witch. I look like a witch. So you don't like that hat? No, I don't like this hat. Oh, did this just stop? Know, that just happened. All right, let's keep going. Wow, I almost died. That was a little sketchy. I almost just lurched <laughs> forward. <laughs> lurched? You ready, Rob? Oh, yeah. Let's yeah. go. Rob and I made it to Bass Pro Shop. We've got the meet and greet here. I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning of today's vlog, but there's a meet and greet, and it's today. And there's already some people already there. I'm vlogging, yeah. You guys want to be in it? Vlog. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. In the vlog? In the vlog, yeah. <laughs> so there's something wrong with Rob's head, that being he doesn't have a hat on it. Yeah, wow. We couldn't find a hat at... Uh, Woodfield, so we're here at Bass Pro Shop. We're looking for a very crummy, inexpensive, cheap straw hat. Like the cheapest one they have. Wait a minute. So what's your name? Ethan. Ethan well, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna bought go Rob a hat before you could even buy a hat. Rob, how do you feel? It's like, this is like, <laughs> you, just, you just, you just, you just. These guys bought me a hat. Okay, I'm gonna go. And he was about to buy him a hat. <laughs> this is awesome. Shout out to Ethan for buying Rob a hat. He loves his hat. So sad that he lost it yesterday. But uh, he's got a new one, and and a uh, and a viewer bought it for him. I got another free hat. He's so happy, so happy. What's that? Move it over there, because the other side where to keep the boats at. You got a cage over there. Move up the side over there. Where are you guys going? I'm not sure. We're. I think we're all going to Bass Pro Shops. We're going this way, folks. We just got kicked out. We're going on the. We're going on the side of it. This side, because they own, they own the concrete. Let me get a picture with you, bro. That's sweet. This is so cool. Thank you guys all for showing up. This is. Look at this. This is insane. So we weren't allowed to film within the parking lot of BPS even after kind of like getting permission. So we're now heading inside a Bass Pro Shop. We're just basically 
I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. It just seems silly. We moved like 20 feet over. Um, no worries. We're still going to be, I think we're still going to be continuing this. I just saw Perrican Lunkers go that way, so I'm assuming that's the way we need to go. We're good right here. We, we just can't film here. Did, did any of you guys bring a rod? Because I'm like about ready to cast <laughs> into there. There's fish everywhere. Yeah, sure. Here, is someone close to me real quick? Ready? What? Point it at me real quick. This guy over here from Nonstop Bass wants me to sign his croc. Finally, finally someone sent me some rocks to send there. Oh, that's really sloppy. Oh, that's good. No, we got it. Boom, that is legit. Are you coming over here? What is he doing? Putting away the drone. With all three of us together. What'd you say? In the vlog, bro. You wanna get in the vlog? Oh, I think that's good. Nine seconds, 10 seconds, good. All right, guys, I'm from Brothers Fish, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm here I, with John B. at this fan meet up here in Gurney, Illinois. Check out my channel. Oh, you yeah. want a homie open oh, this? Yeah, I'll help you open that. Thanks. Don't break it now. All right, there we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Either way, surprise me. Am mm. I in this? Yeah, yeah, you're in Thank you, dude. You're welcome. Fish from the camera. Boom! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish in the Midwest. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my mom and my dad for driving me here and my uncle for uh, starting me fish. Keep fishing, never stop. <laughs> What's your name? Alex. Alex just got me this before I left. Hey, I'm gonna use it. Alright, <laughs> see you guys. We gotta go. Hey! Alright, we're, we're going. We're going. We gotta go. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm posting it tomorrow. That meetup was something else. I don't really know how to explain it. it, it it's incredible to have people who watch your video show up in person and want to speak to you and talk to you about fishing. Like, just such nice, genuine people. I don't know, it, it's really hard to explain to me, but it's 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 something that I um, I really enjoy doing. Meetups are fun for me. It's cool seeing the faces that, uh, that watch my videos and enjoy my content. That's all I gotta say. We're now eating at Portillo's. Rob's first time at Portillo's. I think he's gonna like it. I'm getting that. Oh, I was like, where's the parrot? I love Portillo's. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm not gonna eat. He was at, you were actually just here, weren't you? Why are you even so? Yeah, because you guys told me, you guys told me to pick you up and come to Portillo's, and then you got Rob got How so mad at me. How to pick him up if we were gonna meet no, him at his house? I was picking you up at Gurney. Look at the close up. He looks so furious. Do that again, where you eye, do eye. Perk just ate here, I'm so Perk's leaving, leaving again. I'm what else is new? Perk. Shows up for one business. We'll see you tomorrow. Can we talk about tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Can I have a um, uh, can I have a burger? And then um, that's it for me. Yes, thank you. Uh, for here. Who's paying? Who's paying? Who's paying? I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear yes. to God. Yes. Yes. I lost at roulette again. I bought shoes and dinner. I'm now broke. Over there. Rob and I got our food, we're super hungry. The meetup was just out of this world. Amazing people, amazing anglers. It was great meeting some new faces. But that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Food in the Midwest. Rob found the camera.